94.7. Hi, it's the JV and Sandy show at 723. Here's Matchbox 20. Jamming to some radio tunes. Yes. Jiffy, there's going nuts. Hey, this is a good song. Yeah, radio's cool. <laughs> you know, different music puts us in different moods. Let's change the radio station, see what happens. Yeah! <laughs> to interrupt this awesome display of talent, but you should know that radio plays a lot more than just music. There's talk radio, news radio, weather radio, and in the old days before TV was invented, <coughs> yes, before TV was invented, people used to sit around the radio listening to comedy shows, mysteries, and all different kinds of programs, just like we do with TV, but without pictures. It gave everyone a way to know more about what was happening in the world instantaneously instead of waiting to read about it in the newspapers. It completely changed our world. This is Jezebel of the Treehouse Gang reporting to you from JEZ TV. Signing off. That was an interesting historical perspective, Jezebel. Yeah, you were awesome on TV. Ah, oh, thank you very much. <laughs> I thought it surprised you. You know, I'm a radio announcer. You are? Yeah, on my own radio station called B-A-B-Y Radio. I made it just for my little sister. Wow, that sounds neato. It is. Well, on the east, that was the police with every breath you take. Now, if you'd like that band, you'd probably like this guy, too. His name's Joe Scruggs, and he's from Texas. Now, this is him in the rocking chair. On BABY Radio for you and your rocking chair. And she knows just what the trouble is as she brushes a lot. I bet she appreciated that a lot, Ollie. Yeah, she loves it. You know, when I get older, I think I'm going to work in a radio station, maybe be an announcer. Oh, you want to be a jockey? What do horses have to do with radio stations? <laughs> Not that kind of jockey, a disc jockey. That's what they call announcers on the radio. You know, DJs or jock for short. Why do they call them that? Well... And how can we hear music through a little plastic box? Well, the radio waves, they come through the air and they're transmitted through a... You know, it sounds like you got lots of questions, Ollie. I tell you what, we could go to a radio station. Yeah. Let's go see JB and Sandy. We heard them this morning on the radio. Oh, yeah. You want to go? Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Oh, but first, I got to change clothes. Let's go. Let's go. The Treehouse Gang is pedaling toward the radio station right now. We're about to meet some really neat people. It takes so many jobs to make the radio station function. It's not just about being a DJ. Hey, I wonder if Ollie or maybe Chippy might be a DJ. And how do those radio waves work? We'll find out soon. So stick around. We'll be back. I like JB and Sandy a lot. Yeah, you do. I think you listen to them every single morning. I do. They're really funny, aren't they? Yeah. Hi, you hey. must be Connie and Ollie. Yes, we are. We're here to see JB and Sandy. Yeah. Well, everybody's waiting. Hey. Oh. Hey, how are you? Hi. Hi. This is Ollie. I'm Connie. Hello. This is Chippy. Hey, Chippy. Hey, Hello. What's going on? Well, hey, well, Ollie. I have lots of questions to ask you guys. Okay. Yeah? Well, cool. You can ask as many questions as you like, but uh, Sandy and I need to get back on the radio. Funky's going to show you around, then come back by our studio in cool. a little bit. Sound good? That sounds yeah. good.
Why did CDs replace records? Well, because the records are bigger. We used to play music off of these, but now I play them off of the CDs because it sounds better, because they're digital. Ah. Chippy. <laughs> That's Chippy. He always gets into something. Oh, I've heard you give away free stuff on the radio. Where do you get it all? Well, we get that from the promotions and marketing department. And they'll either order the t-shirts or the cups or stuff they'll give to listeners, or CDs. We get that from the record companies when they're trying to promote their artists. Or if you've heard us give away cars on the air, mm -hmm. well, local dealerships will give us cars so we can advertise them. And they, that way it gets their name out on the air. Oh, okay. Well, how does your voice get from the microphone to the radio in your house or car? Well, when the DJs talk on the radio, it transmits a signal or a wave we can't hear or see to this 900 megahertz transmitter, which is linked to a microwave dish on top of the building. Now, that microwave then sends out the signal to an antenna, which is on top of a mountain. That antenna boosts the signal out to a radius of about 100 miles. And then the circuitry in your radio detects the signal and then changes the vibration of it so you can hear it out of the speaker. Huh? Well, basically, we have engineers here who make sure the signal's sent to the antenna on the hill and then to your radios. Could we go see JV and Sandy now? Yeah, sure, let's go see them. Oh, boy, let's go! Mix 94.7, that is Sugar Ray. This is the JB and Sandy Show. And uh, JB, uh, Connie came by from the Treehouse Gang. Yeah, our, our friends. It's good to see you, Connie and Ali and, and uh, Chippy. Great, great, great to come by here. <laughs> it's kind of cool because they have come by, and normally when we have guests come into the studio, they ask, or we ask them questions, mm -hmm. whereas this morning... Uh, Ali has some questions that he wants to ask yeah, us. Yeah, this, this is a nice little twist for us. So if you have anything to ask, feel free. Go right ahead. Okay. Um, why are radio announcers called DJs? That's a good question because I, it probably goes back to a long time ago, long before you and any of your friends were born, when they used to, the guys on the radio had big discs, and that's where you get the D from, and then they called them disc jockeys because they played them. They played the discs back and forth. Is there anybody you guys wanted to say hi to on the radio? Yeah. Hey. Hey, Jezebel. Hey, Jezebel. Hey, Tazaroo. Hey, Taz. We're out here riding some radio waves. Yeah. Hope it's coming in loud and clear. We'll see you soon, okay? Oh, yeah. And hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs> Ollie and Connie, thank you very much for the Treehouse Gang. Here's 10,000 Maniacs at Mix 94.7. That was so fun being on the radio. We learned lots, too. After we said bye to JB and Sandy and Funky, we pedaled our way back to the treehouse where Jezebel and Taz were so happy to see me. That's because I promised them that when I got back, I would read your mail. It's time for Connie's Mailbox. I have some special mail here from sisters Julie and Melanie who are 12 and nine years old. This is what Julie says. One thing I did was make stationery. I got five pieces of typing paper and five legal envelopes, and I put stamps of each design in the corner and packaged them in plastic bags and sold them for 25 cents a bag. My business was named Julie's Stampin' Stuff. My little sister Melanie also helped me with my company. Now that's an alternative to selling lemonade. No matter what you do in life, it takes practice. Whether you're selling stationery or playing baseball or practicing piano or studying math, I practice whenever and wherever I can. Here's a trick I'm working on. I'll keep you updated on how it's coming along. So practice. It feels great. And it feels good right here in your heart. That's because your heart knows what's good for you. It's not just a big muscle that pumps blood through your entire body. It's the control center of your entire body. You'll know what the right decision is. You'll feel it. Wait a minute. I feel that somebody needs my attention. You need my attention too, Taz. Give me five. Yeah. You ready? Here we go. Go. All right. Yes. All right. Hey, don't forget to send your letters to us. Tell us about the businesses you've tried, whether they worked or not worked, because we can learn either way. And tell me what you want to be when you grow up. And be sure and send a sample of what you've created and a picture. We'll read them on the air, OK? It's been so much fun today. I'm so glad you got to join us. You guys have a great day. Remember to follow your heart, okay? Thanks, Julia and Melanie. Bye-bye. Tazaroo.